All right, this, my friends, this is Chaos Pit, and I'm excited. This is going to be wild. Uh, you've got all these players in towards the middle here, and this is a map that you may have seen in the 2v2 World Cup. There's a team game tournament going on right now called Return of the Clans, which will have this. Uh, this map, all the players start close to the middle. Uh, they started with a lot more villagers than I expected. I don't know if that has to do with Regicide or what. But anywho... This is Regicide, and the kings are out there, so the goal, of course, is going to be heal all the kings. It is also diplomacy, so you can't ally people, but there's no gold in the middle. You've got food, and you've got stone. If you want to get access to gold, you need to chop to the outer ring. So we'll see if players can figure that out. I gave them a brief description, but it depends on how experienced they are. Uh, here in the red, we have Puppy Saturation, longtime community member, playing as the Byzantines. Um, in the blue, we've got Ray. Playing as the Italians, also longtime community member. I actually have a story about Ray, which I may or may not tell later on. You guys can remind me. Uh, in the orange, we have Danny Dorito playing as the Incas. Uh, in the uh, teal, we have Gilbert, or Gillert, excuse me, playing as the Spanish. In the purple, we have General Genital. Well, that's just fantastic. Uh, playing as the Malay. In the green, we have Magyars for Mr. Eugene H. Krabs. But apparently he wasn't the original Eugene H. Craps because he's got a one at the end. And then the yellow, we have uh, Paperin. And then finally we have Holy Heroin here in the gray playing as the Poles. Uh, so, interesting civs. They did go random civilizations. I wanted to introduce some variety here. They started off with quite a few vills, but also started off with a tower. You could always put your king in there just to stay safe. All right. So this is like, today we're going to be talking a lot about Regicide Rumble. I posted the trailer on YouTube. It will use community game settings. It's a three-day event. Next Friday is community games. So you guys have an opportunity to get into that day of Regicide Rumble. There's cash on the line. Obviously, just like watching is going to be so much crazier because people will maybe do crazier things. I'm really curious how loyal people are going to be. Right? Like, normal community game players, normally they're like, okay, I've got all this loyalty. But when it's $25 a king kill, and then you can get more money if you place in the top three, I'm really curious what the loyalty is going to look like when there's money on the line uh, in community games. And then you're going to have, I mean, Regicide Rumble 2. I think it was 2. Yes, it was 2, actually. It was many years ago now. It was like four years ago, but... Uh, you had Viper and Doubt on the same team in one of their games. They didn't trust each other, started killing each other off. It's just so fun. I'm excited. Uh, Yellow says, hello all. First game, Trest. I assume that was meant to be stressed. That's understandable, right? A lot of people watching. Age of Empires is hard to play. You never know if you're going to be able to execute. I hope they end up calming down, getting used to it here, enjoying it. Um... Bet T90 is laughing at us all, says Green. No, I'm not, but I was supposed to... Puppy Saturation wanted to be roasted. But do we see anything that's bad about Puppy Saturation's build order so far? Oh, look at him. He can't even decide on what deer to push. Ha! There we go. There's the roast. I can't really think of anything. Honestly, it's a pretty good start. Has food income underneath the TC. Already that's chopping to the outer ring. I feel like Ray being close to Puppy Saturation will be a talking point in this game. That would make sense to me anyways. Ray already on stone here. So I think Ray might try and go fast castle and sell some stone to get gold. And maybe drop some TCs or castles on the outer ring. But Ray is definitely the best player here. So Ray is someone who has been in my community for about five years, right? Always played in community games, always hanging out in chat. I haven't seen him in a community game in a while, so it's good to see. And he's like 17 or 1800 1v1s these days. He actually played Slam in the first round of Wandering Warriors Cup, best of three. And he got a win off of Slam, which is crazy. <laughs> I think it was him, unless I'm confusing him with someone else. What's up, Frederick? Welcome. And Joa says, will you have a special version of Capture Age for Regicide Rumble 4? I will, yeah. So I'm, I'm so excited for it. We're still doing some testing. But guys, it looks so good. <laughs> it looks so good. Like, no no more T90 blind, right? Also, why is there a... Oh, God. Mr. Eugene H. Krabs. I guess is learning hotkeys and went to make a mining camp, but accidentally made a lumber camp. 
and then didn't want to finish it because he was embarrassed. So he just left it there. And so that was a bit of a bit of a mistake. And he's reminding himself constantly of that mistake because he's gone for militia here with the Magyars. Fascinating. The thing is, if you go for three militia, which costs 60 gold, you then don't have 50 gold to be able to get loom until you make it to the outer ring. And green has not chopped the outer ring. I did specifically state, though many people might not have heard, that you need to chop wood to get to the gold. Uh, again, we've got a variety of different skill levels here. Some more observant than others, and they'll eventually figure it out. For better or for worse. Holy Heroin says, T90, where are the webcam streams? What? You're not even... You're playing the game! What? You, what's that request? Come on, Holy Heroin. I don't want to do webcam, man. I don't want to do webcam. Okay, we've got Blacksmith. We've got Market now. Listen, webcam streams are not bad, right? Like, especially, I think, if you're watching someone play a game, it's sometimes nice to see the reactions and all that. It's not for me, all right? It's not for me. Unless it's 24-hour streams or, you know, specific moments, I, I prefer to just talk. Because um, I don't want you guys to know that this is all pre-recorded content. That's what it is. I, uh, a lot of people think I've been doing this for seven years. But actually, what's happened was I, uh, I've only done it for two and I just spent two full years with no free time. I just spent all hours of the day, like 15 hours a day, just recording stuff. And this has all been, my whole career has just been me playing videos on stream. I've been, I've been in the Bahamas for five years, man, living it up. Never been to the Bahamas. I don't know if I would live it up there or not. But anyways, um, bad jokes, bad jokes, bad jokes. Who wins the next 24 hour? I, I, I... If I'm going to do big events, I want to make sure it's, it's a good spot for it, right? And I feel like we're still growing this, right? We just made the platform switch. So I don't I don't see myself doing... Holy Militia Green! That's crazy. You know this is diplomacy, right? You do have allies. I don't see myself doing a 24-hour until I start setting some goals. And then we reach those goals, maybe I'll set a 24-hour stream goal. I'm enjoying my flow, my groove right now. Like, something like that. It delays content for a week or two because I have to build up towards that. It's exhausting. So maybe after uh, after after the summer, I could see. The Green's got militia. Green is clearly scared of the world. Uh, we have Ray, the first person in Castle Age, and Ray is already adding a second TC. So Ray is definitely the favorite. The other thing about Ray in community games is that Ray doesn't really. Uh, He's not the chattiest player ever. He just, he plays the game, right? Now, I have a funny story. Red's actually made it out here. So, well played from him. Because he's found some gold and is on the way to Castle Age. I actually have a pretty comical story when it comes to Ray. So, um, I didn't know Ray as Ray initially. Um, Ray's initial name in my Twitch chat was... And I'm not kidding... This was many, many years ago. Was uh, Sister Fister 420. And I didn't really think much of it. You know, that was just, we just, I just said, hey, sister. That's what I said to say hello to Ray. And then at one point, Twitch and Voobly, where we played, was like, hey, uh, maybe those aren't the, that's not the best of usernames. And so he got banned. So those, that, those accounts were banned. So then his new account, was Sister Respector 420. <laughs> Which I think is freaking funny. So, that's Ray. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ray is just Ray AoE now. Those are the old days. Ray is more responsible now. Ray is more respectful. But uh, uh, that's that's what I'll always remember Ray for. I don't care. Ray could go on to win, like, Hidden Cup 6 or whatever. No, I don't care. <laughs> just Ray's early username story is what will always have me. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he's got a weird. He's got some weird names. He's a weird dude. Let's put it that way. Uh, I forgot there was relics in the middle here, but Ray clearly did not, as Ray grabs all five relics. Now it looks like Puppy Saturation was considering walling Ray off here. Like I genuinely think he was gonna make a house. That's a strat. You can get behind the enemy, wall them off, so they can't expand. 
And Gray says, sup, Ray, any plans? And Ray just says, no. No. That was the taunt, of course. And I think puppy saturation is going to feel threatened here. Ray is already killing it. He's got 40 vills right now. And he's going to have four TCs. We'll see. Ray one time ate a bunch of Chinese food and passed out on my couch. Wait, did you guys have a meetup? That's funny. I know he's from the U.S. I, now I want to eat a bunch of Chinese food. I'm not sure about passing out on your couch, but I'll have the Chinese food. Tassel going up here. Wait, Relic Victory's on. Wait, he had to eject a Relic. Relic Victory was on. Interesting. Wow, that's fascinating, guys. Wow. Okay, 17 minutes in and the Relic Countdown started, but he ejected one, so he's not a target. So he didn't want the Relic Victory, but it might be something players need to think about till later. Now, General Genital over here has dropped a castle, and I feel bad for Green because Green clearly is a little, a little, you know, new to the game. But I can't help but feel like General, and no offense to General, but maybe General isn't the biggest star in this game either. And maybe General could use some friends. So we have the second TC. It's fine. But I'm not sure if this is necessarily the right move. Is Green says lol perp. Is it really worth it taking out Green? Green's actually just chilling out over here underneath the castle. I feel bad for Mr. Eugene H. Krabs. I feel like if there's ever a time where Purple needs an ally later on and Green is gone, maybe he might regret that move. Where did that relic go? Oh, wow. Okay, so Ray is taking the fifth relic. And he's placing a monastery here. Okay, so if you want to have relic victory, you need to have all the relics, okay? Uh, but they can be in separate monasteries. So I don't know what his plan is here exactly. But it seems like he's prepping to possibly just make this a quick win for him. Teal says, to you, perp, I'm a noob, but I'll help you where I can. I need friends. And Puppy Saturation says, Ray, please stay in your generously large corner for now. As Ray is making a forward castle. Ray, Ray doesn't care, man. And Ray says, I feel like that's a threat. Good response, because I think Ray wants to attack Red. Byzantines versus Italians, you know, either Civ could win this matchup. I don't feel like that was a threat at all from Puppy Saturation, but I think Ray just wants any reason to attack someone. And puppy Saturation says, well, I feel like you're a threat. Which is completely fair, considering, well, everything we've seen so far in this game. I... Now, Ray knows a lot about the game, but I'm curious on if he knows that separating the relics still triggers the relic countdown. Very curious on that. Also, most players should be allied with Ray so they could see the monasteries in the middle, but no one will want to attack him because they know that this could be a problem for them. Andrew, the spec point of view issue is not fixed. No, it still exists. They haven't fixed it. But thankfully for Regicide Rumble, we won't be using the game. That's how you have to get away from problems with Age of Empires. It's have Capture Age do stuff. So there. There's the countdown. So it's 350 year countdown. You have to hold it for 350 years. And now he realized, oh shoot, it doesn't have to be in the same monastery. And then, then he fixes it again. So this might start some people talking about it. Like, hmm... And he's going to come over here, and he's going to start taking the relics to that corner. So obviously, he might go for the relic victory in this game. Just a matter of when. Um, Green. Sorry to not give you any updates here. He is trying to chop to the outer ring. I said specifically, you do need to chop to the outer ring. Maybe the information wasn't passed along or something. But he's making what he feels like he can make. And that would be trash units. But is you can't kill a castle with skirmishers. And we missed it, but Green now has 38 deaths, which is quite sad. Does have a lot of stone, though, so could always make a new TC. Could always chop on his way out. Hasn't lost a king yet. And Teal kind of offered services to Purple, but Purple didn't accept. And now Teal's dropping their own castle here. And I feel like, I mean, maybe General Genital isn't the nicest name ever. So maybe I shouldn't expect some peace from General Genital. I, I don't know what to expect. But... Why are you just killing everyone around you? You're going to need somebody. It is diplomacy after all. 
Oh, wow. Look at this. Gray is taking one of these relics, and Ray has made a scout to kill the monk. Oh, boy. That might be a starting scout, to be honest. Interesting. Now, Jill just changed purple to neutral. But I think this is clearly a sign of war, so you should just set him to enemy. And yes, has now set him to enemy. And says, okay, how do you like it? And it's going to drop a castle. Does purple not know? No, purple's allied everyone except the flanks. This is the opposite of what you should do. <laughs> you should ally your flanks and you should enemy the other people, if anything. All right, general. Well, here you've got a castle going up for Jill, and this is a Spanish builder, so this castle definitely goes up. And now General's gonna think twice and think, oh man, well, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Because I'm screwed now. Yo, let's focus blue. He's going for relic victory. Okay, spot on. Great call out here from Holy Heroin. As he's. He, oh my god, the relics are here. He goes over here with the scout, kills one. Also, the spearman kills the scout. He's going to try and snag one of these guys. If he holds one relic away from Ray, Ray can't get relic victory. And that'll be a dead monk. So this is actually really well done from Holy Heroin. Now, I would take that relic far away. I, I would... Okay, he's going to grab this one. I don't know if I'd put it here. Because you're a target now. You're threatening his whole win condition. If you please not go for the relic victory and just kill us normal way, smiley face blue, talking to you. <laughs> what a statement. Can you please not go for relic victory and just kill us normally? Come on, man. Oh, God. Oh, no. The monk might survive. Okay, the monk doesn't survive. But great. Run away. Run away with your monk. I don't know if he can make it around right now, though. There is a gap. Oh, there's a gap between the houses. Okay, he's going to make it. Herp's bullying me. Can we be friends? Only to you, Orange. Orange says, sure. And Yellow says, I'm going to try and help you, Green. Guys, has General Genital said a word this game? Have you seen any chat whatsoever? I've seen nothing. I've seen nothing but war and aggression. Oh my god, and the king almost died! The king almost died for General. I don't think purple said a word. This is the first time we saw uh, Danny say something a moment ago. And that was to Teal. It looks like Teal will start losing this castle and maybe the next castle. Green says, thank you. Green, you can now leave here. And so it was a rough start for Mr. Eugene. But Eugene will add a new TC. Eugene is still alive and has a lot of open space over here available. Update on Gray and that relic. Wait, what? Did he lose it? Oh, he's got... Okay, he's got the monk there. I was gonna say. What a disappointment that would be. And he's got lots of gold here, guys. Also a lot of space down here. And we will have Ray in the Imperial Age, but also Red in the Imperial Age. Also Gray in the Imperial Age. So we've got the top three kind of in a line together here. And at the very least, we're gonna see some trebs out of these castles, you'd think. Because they all have castles here. I feel like as much as purple hasn't helped himself by killing his allies or his flanks, he's actually done a fairly solid job here. He is on three town centers, has 53 villagers, has taken out one of the castles, is going to try and take out another one, but is definitely investing a lot of res to do this. And now there's two castles here for Teal, so it's going to be more difficult to accomplish this. You know me, I like to see good diplomacy rewarded, right? And I don't even know if you could call it good diplomacy because it's not diplomacy. It's like saying a rock was good food. It's not a rock is not food. A great comparison. Um Okay, Green thinks, well, I should wall this because I don't want anyone to follow me. I prefer to see a gate, so would these two ladies. They're like trying to get across. I can't do that. Oh, man. Oh, man. These lovely couples are separated from each other. What have you done? Green lost all the houses, so it has to make more houses now to ever make more resources. Red, blue is going to kill you if you don't help me. Look at his base. Same to you, orange. 
And Orange says, that's a lot of military buildings. Yes. Orange is just sitting here with skirms. I'm not sure why. Maybe because they look cool. And Blue also walled up this side. I mean, great job from Gray to try and rally the troops here. And try and get everyone to work together. Very good thinking. And if you look at Ray, Ray is enemy to Red. He's also enemy to Gray. No, no attempt from Ray either, to be honest, to play Diplo here. No attempt. Just, I'm going to kill everything I can. Hope Red knows what he's doing here with his king. Ray's going to lose the Genoese. There's maybe a slight chance for him to get a kill there. I don't want to fight you. We can be friends. Smiley face is Danny Dorito. Is he? I also, I appreciate the fact he's the color of a Dorito. But I'd prefer he was blue because everyone knows Cool Ranch Doritos are the best Doritos. Green, you did the same thing to your villagers, buddy. They're trapped again. At least they're trapped together. Great job from Gray, though. And Gray's getting Elite Old Book now. I'm not sure about the unit choice, but I think he's doing that because he can't go Cav against Genoese Crossbow. Genoese Crossbowman for the Italians. Counter Cav pretty strong. They're pretty hard. Um, No Elite yet, though, for Ray. He's going to go for Cavalier 2. I think he's, it's a good move because he sees mainly Skirms here. And Purple says, hello. He speaks. For the first time in the game, Purple says hello. And then hits the Imperial Age, and we see, we hear nothing else. He, maybe it's possible he had his chat bugged, and he was chatting, but he wasn't chatting properly. I don't know. How much bonus do Genoese Crossbowmen get against Cav? I don't know the exact number. I just know that they shred Cav with, when the full upgrades come in. They're really strong against anything on a horse. Okay. I mean, Skirm is a good play, right? There's a momentum issue here. You know, you're getting Skirm to deal with this, and then if Cavaliers show up, you're in trouble. Gray, though, is applying pressure from this side, which I think will help, because overall, I mean, Blue still has a lot of eco here. Yo, Green won a trade, says Gray. And Green's like, oh, yeah, friend. That's fine. Okay. Good stuff. I like how General said hello and no one even responded. <laughs> it's such a confusing situation with this player. I just, I wonder if his mom's proud, you know? If his mom knew his username. Do you think yes. she'd be proud? I think she would be. I'll take all the trade I can get, says Green. And then Blue says yes. Ray hasn't really even spoken much beyond one sentence himself. I think he's signaling. I think, yeah, he's responding to what Danny says as Danny's asking to trade. It's a good move to trade. Puppy Saturation called it. Puppy Saturation knew that Blue would probably roll him. He was talking about it earlier. He also requested that Blue kill him straight up instead of going for Relic Victory. So he's getting his wish. Maybe he shouldn't have wished for this. Trying to get more army out, kind of trickling it in. Now the Cavaliers show up, so the Cavalier will take care of any skirms. This is a problem. But Gray is pushing right on this side. So Ray is going to abandon this, and he's going to run to the outer ring. So he's abandoning the pit. Whoops. But he will lose his stables at the very least. But he's got more. That's the issue. I think he's got more over here. He does. My watch just told me I have a high heart rate. Lol. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a new one. Smartwatch coming in clutch there for community games. That's actually really interesting because I just got one. I want to know what my heart rate is going to be when I'm playing Age of Empires 2. Well, Jill, you've been under a lot of stress here. Um, and honestly, you've done a fairly good job. I think Purple will still win the fight if it continues to happen where you're on your own. But it seems like you have Orange who will have your back. And then maybe yellow. I mean, we haven't talked about yellow a lot, but yellow, remember, defended green. I feel like yellow's got some honor, at least. I feel like General Genital and Ray are perfect for each other. Are they not? Ray wants to kill everything, and General wants to kill everything. Yellow says, Teal, I help you. See, every time someone's struggling, yellow just shows up and says, I'm going to help you. I like that. What I don't like 
is that I don't see Prey being able to help enough to save Red. I don't think Red has enough army out here to deal with a very good composition here. It's, it's a tough comp to stop. Like, how do you counter Genoese Crossbow? You go for Skirmishers, but that gets countered by the Bomber Cannon. That gets countered by the Cavalier, so Ray's just ahead of the game. I mean, there's a lot of resources, though, for Gray, so Gray could maybe build up some buildings here and get to the middle. And he is also clearing out buildings ever so slowly for Ray. But Ray had to wall this, and Ray actually making even a Bombard Tower there. Ray's housed, by the way. So he needs to get more houses out. I guess the attack from Gray has definitely done something in that regard. Yellow over here, now attacking purple. And all we've heard from purple is, hello! 74 villagers for purple. But you see what happens. Green loses his base, purple loses his base, teal loses his base. You basically just take two other people out with you, but you don't gain anything here. Except li lifelong enemies instead of friends. There's sometimes people, they just... They want to go for kills if they have opportunities to do so, so... You know, they don't stress beyond that. Jill hits the Imperial Age. Well done to Jillert. My market is in corner blue. I like how Orange... Orange picked a good player here. He's making himself useful to blue. He's not really being annoying or suspicious to Blue. He is also potentially giving Blue the opportunity to be stronger, but that might give him a good chance to gain his trust and backstep later on. There's definitely a psychological advantage to having experience in a T90 Kami game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you play a few of them. I think then it it's easier to make... Like, like General Genital here is a good example. I think when he rewatches this, he's gonna be like, oh my god, why I was so stressed and I attacked people. Why didn't I just ally them? It's just like anything else though. It's like if you play one ranked game of Age of Empires 2 and 1v1s, you're stressed. If you play a 200, you you might feel a little better off. Just how it goes. But I will say the push from Ray didn't get much worse. Like he he's now getting hit, he's gonna lose this castle. He's kind of stalled out a little bit. That said, the king is in that castle. No! Puppy saturation! No! Oh, he goes down! And he saw it in the last couple moments there. The king gets sniped. So Ray does the job he wanted to do. What a shame, man. There was a lot of space to run. He could have hid with somebody. But I think he just forgot. And that hurts to see. He's got 65 on food, 10k gold with 30 in the bank. Maybe he needs to coordinate his army, though. He's got a lot of army down here. He's probably like, where's my pop? Where's my pop? And here it is. But, like, he can't use his pop this way, right? He's got to have to come through here now. That castle's definitely going to drop. Meanwhile, uh, Yellow trying to hit purple over here. And then maybe we're going to see Teal... Spanish player, uh, build something up and go after purple as well. Green is actually doing a fine job, guys. Green is doing a fine job. 48 villagers now. Nice little boom over here. Adding a second TC. So green's in this. And then don't forget about orange. Orange is trading right now. And orange has onagers and skirms. I mean, orange could also contribute. Now, reminder that for Regicide Rumble next Friday, Saturday, Sunday... Even for the community game day, which is Friday, there's money on the line. So, like... There's a lot of... There's a lot more reason to backstab one, and there's a lot more reason to just be aggressive in the first place. Like, let's say Ray kills one more person, and then everyone kills him. 50 bucks in the bank next Friday. It's like... You know, that's fine. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious... How players are going to treat the dip diplomatic situations. Guess we'll find out. Hmm. What also will be interesting, and I have not made public who the players are, I have not made public any of that, I haven't even fully decided how to speak to people, but since you guys have said my community games are rigged for years, uh, we are rigging some of the players for each game based on, you know, being experienced community game players and personalities that I'm already familiar with that I think will be a good clash. 
And then we do selection like we do for community games every Friday to fill the rest of the spots. And so what that means is like, you know, you might have three or four players who are well known. You've seen their legend videos, you've seen play, and then you have three or four players. You have like new kids on the block, so to speak. That'd be a good mix. Civ settings will be the highest ELO player picks last, the lowest ELO player picks first. That's what the Civ settings will be. And each and every game is going to be a different map, of course. Blue Coffee coming back? No. Would I ever have Blue Coffee's contacts to message him to see if he's interested in stopping by for Regicide Rumble? Would I ever? Does that sound like me? No, dude. I would never do that. Why would I ever contact Blue Coffee? Like, like what, what's next, you know? What's next? We try and bring Arion back and see if the Legends of Texas can play together again? No, that sounds awful. Well, I'm not a big fan of the Elite Old Book right now. Like, like, I think Elite Old Book combined with Cavalier would be really good. But I'm not really sure if just Elite Old Book is the play. Because it's just not so good against Archers. It's not awful against Archers. It's certainly good against the, the Cavalier. But it, you might even need Onager here if you're Grey to take out these Genoese. Push continues from Ray. No one really interested in sniping him from what I can see. And yellow is now attacking purple. Purple, Purple's only words in this game were hello. There's a chance that maybe he screwed up his chat. And no one could see what he was saying. Maybe he was a very talkative person here. I don't know. Cavalier doing work though. The cheap Cavalier from yellow. Good work. I like it. I also like how yellow helps people who are afraid. Said, I'll help you, green. I'll help you, teal. I like that. I hear monks converting stuff. Where's that at? Probably over here. Yep, there are the monks converting some knights. We do have full halb right now for purple. He's got good upgrades on that, so the cavalier might struggle in time. I think for that reason, yellow is starting to make uh, some man at arms and go for the champion route. Good news is, though, the Cavalier got some good hits here on the Halbs. There's not that many Halbs yet. And so maybe the Trebs can take out the castle in the town center. The King's got to be around here somewhere. It's actually in this TC. And here comes Jillard for some revenge. It's even more personal for Jillard because Jillard said, hey, Purple, let's team. And then Purple dropped a castle on Jillard. So that King's going to eject here, guys. And I don't know if Purple's paying attention to that because Purple's trying to stay alive with everything else. Speaking of trying to stay alive, this is just not happening for Grey. The Genoese wreck everything. Ray with 500 kills, 250 deaths. Puppy Saturation said it. Blue's gonna kill us all. Grey said it. Blue's gonna kill us all. And guess what? Blue is killing everyone. And Eugene has hit the Imperial Age. Let's go, Eugene. Let's go. In the Imperial Age with Magyars, I like it. Well, the General's King is here. It's now on the run. It's on the move. Gray says, yo, Yellow, I need help or Ray is going to kill all. I think Yellow will help. The problem is Yellow's going to help with Cav. Like, honestly, Italians feels like a really good community game civilization to get. Genoese, Crossbowman, Hussar. I think they'd only struggle against Civs with... Like Siege Ram, Siege Onager, maybe. There goes the king for purple. Still no hello or anything. I'd be really curious to see what orange is going to do here. Feels like orange might try and take Ray at some point. Here comes the king. I think Teal sees this king is on the run. And purple with... <laughs> with the house wall... That's funny. Orange, Perp King is in your base. A gate now. And oh, there's an Onager. Okay. So they've got purple surrounded here. I do not see how this king ever survives. Quick wall attempt will fail. And well, now the king can run. What are you doing, man? Okay, the king goes down. General Genital dies with very little attempt at teamwork, which is kind of given... Like, it's really hard for all the players to coordinate against blue when they all have to work against purple. Now, General Genital says no. Okay. 
Sorry, yes, Ray enemy. Okay, so yellow's gonna help. Now, if yellow had Onager or Bombard Cannon, if you had some Siege, it might be better. But it's so tough, too, because then the Hustlers are there to snipe any of that Siege. It's just a tough composition. You too, yellow. Just saved me earlier. It's cute. I'm liking this love story we have over here. Purple says, I didn't have APM for chatting. Okay, he says, I'm sorry. I didn't have APM for chatting. All right, that's fair. That's fair. I'm glad Purple said something, because I think I'm going to sum up the game a little differently now. If Purple was just like, oh, I like all-out war, you know, that's fine. But Purple, you also... Okay, let's backtrack. You also castle drop two people, right? You also drop castles on their face and enemied them. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, you could have made defensive castles. You didn't have to play it that way, but Purple says that was fun, though. GG. They can't see his message. Red can. Red's the only other person that can see it, but... Okay, now you've got... This is where it gets tough, right? Now you've finally got a switch from Holy Heroin. So he makes Bomber Cannons, which is the proper unit. And he's actually getting some big hits, but now the Hussars are going to show up. So it's not so easy to focus as the Hussars are going to snipe those. So now you need support, and now he's, he's it's a little too late. Blue sending Hussars right into this eco. You do actually have a couple Trebs still for Grey. He had Hussars at one point. Here come the Hussars. But it does really seem like... Like, even Yellow. Yellow's just making Cavalier. Feels like Yellow's gonna die to Ray as well. I don't think anyone can kill Ray, except for maybe Orange. You guys think Orange is gonna be loyal and try and just make it to second place? Or do you think Orange is actually gonna go for it? A lot of players just don't want to be the first one to die. Or they just want to be top three, you know? To definitely see Orange being the loyal type. He's sitting here. He's got an army. He's got Onager, Treb, and range units. So that feels like it's, there's potential. Who next? Yellow says green. Magyars, they make calf. Berbers, they make calf. Poles, they make calf. Like, Italian just feels so good right now. A yellow says Ray, question mark. Well, according to Green, you're in charge here, Yellow, so maybe remove the question. Big shot. Oh! Oh, big shot. That's good. Ray doesn't have a ton of gold, I noticed. Yeah, I guess he's taken land of people who've already taken all the gold. He doesn't have trade yet, either. Oh, but guys, if he gets that relic, that would be strong. Works for me, says Green. Green, meanwhile, researching Treadmill Crane, the most important tech in the game. Uh, has some champions, has some Magyar Hussar. I like it. Well, there's not many Genoese now for Ray. Ray's Genoese ball is gone. I have market far right, says Green. Yeah, so they're going to trade over there. Guys, also, Teal is getting Paladin. Oh, yeah, Teal's getting Paladin. I wonder if Teal is going to take out Orange. Because... Orange is loyal to blue right now. Orange is also not talking. What's up, Nolan? He says, yo, I'm here. What did I miss? Did T90 lose the first game? No, I had uh, siege onagers that only cost one food. It was not bad. Orange, they're clapping me pretty hard. Since it's going to be bleep soon. I don't know what he tried to say. He probably tried to say since it's going to be... Uh, I, I never know if they're actually bleeping out actual quote-unquote bad words. I don't know why we don't have a spec chat filter. Like, why why can I not see the words this person is saying? But, you know, Ray's, Ray's basically asking Orange for help. Um, He's going to have to clarify that. He, he didn't add any trade, which is pretty stubborn. He still could add trade if he wanted to. Especially with Italians, there's a unique tech that makes your trade units cheaper. Gray still has 10k gold. Like, Gray, Gray's alive. Not well, but is alive and could use that gold later, of course. But these Hussars are kind of stopping that reboom. And more Genoese, more Rams, more Hussars arrive. This is kind of where it gets problematic for Italians. Is that This is it. This is it. There's no Siege Onager for them. There's nothing that gets better for them. I can help. And Ray says you have Teal to worry about, though. Okay, so Orange... 
wants to help. Where's Orange's king? Orange's king is here. It's interesting how his army's just sitting around his own castle. Teal is a noob. Don't turn them against me, Blue. <laughs> he isn't aggressive right now, but he may become so. Ray says, I'm not. I'm trying to recruit you guys to my side since the three of them teamed up. Okay, good save, Ray, because I don't think Ray thought that Teal could read what he was saying. The so Ray's trying to save face right now because he 100%. Like, there's no dispute. He just ordered Orange to kill Teal, right? And Teal's like, hey, I'm a noob. And Ray's like, I'm not, I'm not saying he should attack you. I'm trying to recruit you. Like, okay. I feel like Jill's super nice, so maybe, maybe Jill will be down for that. I don't know, though. You know, another issue for Jill is there's also not a lot of trade. Spanish do get more trade per trip, but a little late to that, so maybe Paladins shouldn't be engaging just yet. Maybe there should be some patience there. Gray still having big problems. Gray honestly not receiving any help from Yellow. Yellow's got 150 pop, which I guess isn't the highest ever, but I there just needs to be more military here. I'm surprised Gray isn't saying, hey, I'm still dying to him. But it's possible maybe they felt like it stopped. Also, these aren't even capped rams yet. So Ray is fighting with battering rams, not capped rams. They kind of look similar, so I don't know. He's only been around the community for like seven years, so he'll, he'll, he has time yet. I'm just noticing maybe a few upgrades are missing too on the infantry here for yellow. This yellow is trading from here towards green. So it is Eugene who is the central trade hub for this team. Obviously, yellow's trade could be disrupted here in a second. Huh. Um, I'm trying to catch up on chat as people are replying to each other. And for those who watch on YouTube later... If there's like a reply thread, it doesn't show up, which is actually good because sometimes people go off on tangents or whatever. Killing your trades is blue. And green says, I'm coming yellow. He's going to come help his team. Yeah, let's go. Uh, people are talking about the chat filter right now. Hmm. Why did the trade? Wait a second. What was that? Is that a great treb? What was that? Got a market? Did he make a new market? Yes, okay. So Blue made a new market, but he made... I'm pretty sure he deleted his original market first. Or maybe there's no way to path over there. Yeah, Ray, dude, you, your opponent or your ally can't trade with you now. That completely screws over your buddy. Oh boy, wow. Okay, so here comes Orange. There's a signal now from Gray. He's like, hey guys, Orange is making a move. Oh, man. Oh, please. This could be amazing. Is Orange paying attention to this? This could be amazing. Come on, Gray. Oh, he somehow got unlucky on the first one. Okay. Well, I mean, Orange is pretty much showing that he wants to be loyal to Ray. Not a bad person to be loyal to right now because he'll kill you if you're not. <laughs> What I keep thinking about is that freaking relic. I think they've forgotten about the relic. Maybe Ray didn't. But Ray has three relics here. Wait, hold on. Oh, he only has three. Oh, and there's two here. Yeah, he could get those two relics and then start a relic victory. Feels like all this is going to crash down for Gray. Okay, Leap Magyar Hussar. Green, my suggestion would be to get more blacksmith upgrades. Again? You really need to get blacksmith upgrades. I love Elite Magyar Hussar. I don't think that's a bad move. Especially because they don't cost gold after the unique tech. They definitely are going to want the upgrades there. Only to you, Blue. Who do you need help against? So I think Teal is realizing that the others are just not doing it. So Teal's like, I've got to pick a side here. And I, I choose victory. Race is those three. Gray, yellow, and green. And honestly, I don't have a lot of faith that yellow and green can do it if it was 2v2 against orange and blue. So I definitely know that they're not going to be able to do it 
if Teal comes into the picture with Paladins. Hussar's making it into Green's base. Green a little late to react to this. Doesn't see it happening. Does have some units here. But maybe he's just focusing on the Hussars as a couple yes. Hussars are running home now in retreat. What's up, Scott? Welcome, welcome. Also, uh... Oh, never mind. I got it wrong. Never mind. Scratch that thought. Did all the onagers go down here? <laughs> For orange? Like, what? Also, holy university upgrades. Split! Oh, micro, bro. Ma. Like, when he went in here to attack this, I was like, wow, he's going to have really good split micro. Because he's bold enough to try this. Okay, it's not bad. Could have been worse, let's put it that way. But he's going to lose his trap now. And he could lose all of his units, too. So, yeah, not, not the prettiest there for Danny Dorito. Which is maybe why he wants to ally up with blue. Also, his trade's still not working. And he still doesn't know that. Also, the Spanish player does not have the trade speed upgrade, which is definitely a concern. It's just, it's just so many signs here that raise the king, right? Raise the king, all hail the king, whatever. Can they topple him? And what happens with those relics? See? Yellow, bleep, bleep my relics. Come. Bleep relic. Okay, he's trying to say whatever some word, and the game won't let him say it. I think he's saying, come take my relics, or come get my relics, take relics, something along those lines. Honestly, if I'm gray, I make a monk, I take one relic, and I run it to someone else's base right now. Great job from gray in this game, honestly. It's so unfortunate for him that red went down when he did, because I think if red would have had a couple more minutes without dying, they could have put up more of a fight together. I lose my two relics. And blue will have relic victory. And yellow's like, oh no, we can't allow that to happen. What's the statue? I'm pretty sure this is a statue. It's like one of the biggest statues in the world, I think. From India or something? I forget. But yellow's like, oh no, we can't allow that to happen. We need to get those relics. And here comes yellow now with the cavalier and with the champs. And Yellow's even going to drop a castle here. <laughs> or is considering it, at least. And Gray's made a monk. What side will the relics go to? Okay. Where's the relic? Oh, get it, Gray. Run away. Gray, run away. Gray, you're at 20 pop. Run away. Okay, monk goes down. And look, you can already see Ray is here. He made two monks out of the forward monastery so he can snag this. So he knows. Teal says, where is king? I think he's asking for the king of green. Remember, he wants to work with blue. It's kind of like work with me or else right now if you're Ray. Because it feels like everyone he wants to attack goes down. I feel like if puppy saturation would have been in yellow's position, and yellow would have been in puppy saturation's position, it would have been a different game. Because Ray would have probably rolled through yellow, and then puppy saturation, who I think is slightly better... Would have had a little more time. There's definitely a time thing. Just snipe his king. His whole army is at my base. This is great. Ah, this is great talking to Teal. Yo, let's go, Jillard. Let's go. I mean, Jillard could also go for orange, right? Jillard could get either. But guys, the relics are right there. So again, there's three relics here. We saw early on in this game, if you get all five, a relic countdown of 350 years begins. He says, just go in with paladins. Gray's like, hey, do this, do that, help out. Gray is making onagers. He's trying. We see a signal. Gray's like, oh no, he's taking the relics. The evil man has the relics. Oh yeah, he'll see it the whole way through too. Are we friends, Teal? Teal says yes, and Orange says cool. And Teal, as the relics just walk away, Teal's like, are you allied with blue or gray? Who are you allied with? Blue. I mean, Teal, Orange is currently killing gray, so that would be a weird alliance. 
Oh, look at this from Holy Heroin. <laughs> this is amazing. So he's going to delay this as long as possible. He's like, no. <laughs> Bye, relics. That's funny. And hey, here's green with some trebs. All right, let's go. All right, so that delays the inevitable. Sorry, I thought we were killing blue, says Teal. So Teal's like apologizing for getting it wrong, which might give Orange a heads up that like, hmm, if Teal wants to kill blue, Teal might want to kill me. And here come the Paladins, and I think they have an idea of where the king is for Orange. And this could be a huge blow to Ray if he loses his little his little minion, his little servant over here. And here's the turn. So what you want to do here if you're Teal is you want to have some of your army attacking these cameos. You can't click everything on the castle. There you go. Because you need to still kill some of that army there. And now Orange is going to freak out. He'll probably say something to Blue, asking Blue for help. And Blue also might not need Orange, right? Because he can get the relics. So Orange is a little disposable if those relics are possibly going to come in. So Teal goes for the backstab. This is what we like to see. I don't see a gather point on the castle, so I think the king will pop out and... Oh, there it is! There it is! Yo! Hello! Hello! Jill! Okay, Jill couldn't see the king. You know what it is? The king kind of looks like a chubby cameo. It's really hard to tell the difference. But Teal's still mopping up everything, and Orange is still in a bad spot. Orange is now making Spearmen. Doesn't have Pikemen, doesn't have Halb, so doesn't have the proper units. Those things will get wrecked by Paladins. And back to the Relics here, guys. Those Relics are still there, and you see the Monks coming over. So it is possible, again, for Blue to do this on his own. I think Orange is going to look back and be like, Man, maybe I should have spoke to Teal a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have spoke to blue But it's like if you fight against blue in orange's position you probably die You have to be sneaky Teal doesn't necessarily know about this. Just says the king got away. The king is in here now But still has done a ton of damage We have a signal from gray gray's like hey hit this eco. Yeah orange is done orange is completely done and Ray's wondering why Teal and Orange are fighting. Because remember, Ray tried to... He had this poor attempt at trying to group these guys together. Honestly, if it's Ray, If you're Ray, it doesn't matter. I think you you toss those relics in the monastery, and you just go 1v... How many people were left? 1v5. The only bad thing about this is, it might unite Teal and Orange against you if you're Ray. That's the only bad thing. But at this point, Orange has taken so much damage. That might not be too bad. Blue shifted to the southwest, says green. Great recovery from green in this game. Kind of sucks, though, that Genoese crossbowmen... Or, not the Genoese, sorry. The uh, Magyar Huss are being produced from the castles on the other side of the map. With that much stone, I'd like to see some castles in the mid. Here come the relics. Will it work? I think what should happen, as Gray's been trying to warn everyone, is... Everyone who's fighting each other should stop. And Ray is also going to build a wonder. This is an in-your-face move. So he starts to make a wonder, which lets everyone know there's a little horn. Okay, now this is affecting the pathing of his relics, though. Oh, God. This is actually kind of a big deal. So here's the deal. Relic victory happens right away. Right, right when the relics are in there, immediate countdown, immediate pop-up. Wonder victory... Oh god, the path. <laughs> the pathing. <laughs> um who knows if we'll ever make it here, but Wonder Victory everyone gets a notification when you start to build one. <laughs> and then after it's complete, you need to keep it up. So it takes a lot longer for Wonder Victory. Is there an opening here? I mean, he he has less than 500 gold in the bank right now. And okay, now he's going to get his relic victory. He has the three most important things all together. And he still hasn't done it, actually. What's happening? My cat is screaming right now for no reason, says Green. Welcome to my life. And Orange says, I think this is the end for me. 
And yeah, I think it is the end for you as well, as, as Teal is punishing you for teaming with Blue, I suppose. And the chubby Kamiyook is on the way, and now the Relic Countdown has begun. But that kind of gave people more of a heads up. And Orange, I mean, the whole world is attacking Blue. You chose Blue. This does make sense to me. And, and Ray never really seemed like the type of guy that was going to fight with you. It was always just going to be, hey, do this for me, do that for me. Okay, so Yellow says, oh noes. Oh noes. And so we have Yellow, we have Green, we have Teal, and we have a little bit of Gray, not much of Gray, but some stuff. Gray's actually rebooming nicely. And they're going to try and kill Ray. So they can do one of two things. They can go for the relics. If they hit the relics, get them out of the monastery, then the countdown stops. They can kill the king. Or they... And maybe it's and. They have to destroy the wonder. I think the wonder countdown is also 350 years. So, I don't know. Yeah, gray is rebooming where purple used to be. Let's see what the wonder countdown is. We should have two separate little things here. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Wonders, if you didn't know, very expensive building. A thousand wood, a thousand stone, a thousand gold to build it, and then it takes forever. So he's got two countdowns. I always love the Italian wonder. So I've got two, two in-your-face moves. Two objectives. And you see now Ray is starting to drop Bombard Towers, and he's just going to camp it out for 300 years. Yeah, Teal says it. What a flex. Yeah, it's essentially what this is. It's a flex. But it's a warning, right? You, you have multiple heads up now. You, you need to get a move on here. You need production buildings. You need siege. You need to get ready. Yellow's starting to get ready. Gray doesn't have much, but of course Gray had to reboom. I think what they really need is an onager cut through the trees. I think trying to break down these yes. walls is a complete waste of time. They need to onager cut through this wood line, and then they can bypass so many of these buildings. You know, having some rams would be really good. But yeah, definitely need an onager to just chop the trees. Well, they're all together now, right? They're all together now. So they are all allied. They're not really having discussions, but I think it's for the reason that was mentioned earlier. It, it's They're using all their actions per minute, all their APM, to focus on the game. Just cut trees if he is walled. Come. Okay, so the Trebs are using... The Trebs are being used for the trees, which is a little worse than an Onager because it takes more time and you also have to... You have a tighter choke point. And he could just be rewalled, but... Yeah, they should coordinate here. They should run through. Ray has made the opening. Now, Ray is falling back. Keep in mind, he's got five relics bringing him gold. But he's not mining any gold. Man, I think Ray's KD is going to look so insane. With Bombard Towers and Genoese and everyone making Cav, it's going to be so nuts. It's a shame that none of the saves up against him now get really good siege. Like, no siege on a jerk. Maggars don't have siege ram. I think poles do, though. I know Berbers don't. Can they still not run through that? I can't tell. Now the Trebs are blocking it. This is what I mean. You need an onager, man. <laughs> but here they come. Oh, the pathing sucks so much. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, no. You couldn't open this up any wider, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, there you go. Yellow makes it through. That's a long way to travel, though. I would love to see Siege Ram. Or even Capped Ram on the buildings as you do this. I guess it'd be hard to bring the Rams in. A lot of units here. Also, a lot of units that do get countered by Genoese Crossbowmen if they get close. The Trebs for Grey aren't really firing right now. What's up with that? Is he allied to him? No, it's just not firing for some reason. It must be... Maybe put them on no attack stance by mistake. Grey has 1,300 kills. 
And I know it's his 1250, but I'm just thinking ahead here. It's about to be 1300 kills. Teal says, sorry, Blue. I didn't want to, but you've become too powerful. Okay. Teal apologizing for the move. Ray has armies over here. This is actually the most vulnerable er area. This is fortified from before. But this is the most vulnerable area. So this is a good move from Teal and a good move from Gray. And Green's just going to keep sending stuff into the meat grinder here. But it's a team effort, right? If you keep blue here, even if you're tossing away armies, it's not the end of the world. Ray says it's okay. Now, it gets interesting here is Ray is 91 eco, and he's about to lose a lot of that. But that's going to be, with all those Hussars queued, just more Hussars for him. So it doesn't get easier. It only gets more difficult. Hey, we've got an Elite Skirm from Puppy Saturation. Okay. And all of Green's trebuchets go down. Teal is trying to help out down here, but yeah, I would avoid this area. This area is no bueno. Again, they really, I think, needed rams on these stables. And then another, and then have their push on this side at the same time. Now, poles are no joke, guys. Poles are no joke. And Gray is no joke. Gray queues up so much. He's got Cavalier, which is cheap with poles. He's got the winged Hussars. Plus, there's Paladin. But they could maybe make it down here. But remember, the King, the Wonder, and the Relics are all in the same corner. I think what they will need is Siege, and Rams feels like the better option to just slowly take out the buildings. Okay, Teal's patrolled in, no doubt. Focused on that. Here comes Yellow. That's a massive ball, man. That's a massive ball, and he's got Rams this time. So if he can get through... I mean, I think losses are going to start to be taken over here. Here comes Teal with the, uh, with the Trebs. We talked about how killer Italians are with Hussar and Genoese crossbowmen. This is a waste. Teal needs to probably pull the Paladins down here, but... I forget which player said their heart's beating really fast. This is a stressful time. But Gray's got Siege Ram. I think in this situation, you've got to clear out the whole, their whole base. You can't just, like, try and run in to take the castle. Just clear out what you can, because you're going to lose a lot of stuff. And Yellow... God, this, they need an onager here. This is so frustrating. If they just onager cut this instead of treb cut, it would have gone such a long way. I guess they're going to try and take out the gate. They can go through another choke point with one tile. Okay, stables go down. Ray's still spamming. Ray's pop, 170. Ray's running out of food. Guys, Ray is running out of food. He is running out of food. He's got no food anymore. He can't make any more Hussars. The Genoese crossbowmen obviously are strong, but there's a lot of stuff, and Yellow's in now. 185 years on the Relic Countdown. To me, it feels like they can do this. They've, they've corrected the problems they had before. They have the production now. Good job from Teal to follow this up with another group of Paladins. Good job from Yellow. Especially with the Siege here. Yeah, the Siege is awesome take out all the buildings, all the towers, and then you can use the Bombard Cannons against the Genoese. I guess ideally. But I mean, also, it, look, Ray's realizing this. Ray's like, I might need to get back there to repair this or something. Like, this is rough. And here comes Green now with the Elite Magyar Hussar. I think it goes below 100 years at least. If I were to guess right now, I would say that Ray loses the monastery at like 20 years or 25 years. Because it's going to take longer than we think to take out these towers and castles. And that clock is a ticking right now. Now this is what I consider to be a desperation move from Green, but it manages to distract some of those shots. They're trying to see if they can break in. And what they can see, they can now see there's walls here. Here come the rams, here comes the cav. All oh, the towers are going down. So this, what's interesting about this is, I mean, I'm maybe thinking too far ahead. But Ray is, it has been seen as a man of war. But in reality, he has united the rest of the kingdoms. So does that make him a man of peace? <laughs> does that make him about unity? <laughs> no, probably not. But, but seriously, like, 
if Ray goes down here, I have no clue what's going to happen with the other players because I feel like they've worked so hard together that they're not going to want to ever turn on each other. And I've seen that with one or two people. But with four, I mean, that's a completely different scenario. Again, they have to take the monastery out, right? The monastery is the win condition because that countdown is first. Of course, taking the wonder is great too. You can do that, but... You want to take the monastery. And what did I say? 20 or 30 years? I was way wrong on that. There's no way Ray wins this game. And Danny Dorito's like, well, maybe if you would have defended me, I could have defended you. Time for Gray to snipe some kings? I mean, someone could be thinking about it right now. This is the time to think about it, but you don't want to be that person that accidentally ruins the snipe now you don't want to turn right now and then have ray win anyways look at ray making some gates here yeah once the siege got here guys it really got out of hand fast i think it was a good attempt from ray but remember he also lollygagged with his relics it could have been at around 100 years when it went down um wonder goes down he calls the gg Ray resigns, so Relic Victory stops. That's before the Monastery was destroyed. And Green immediately says, Yellow, only to you. Oh, I like it. Now, guys, someone else can take these Relics. Someone else could take these. And Ray was going to be killed, right? His king was here. GG Blue, good job, guys. Nice teamwork. And Teal says, I worry that I may be next. Yeah, I was thinking that Teal would be the one that'd be next, potentially. And Gray says we share the relics. And then Green says Gray next. Ooh! Well, Gray did completely die and then come back and has a really high score right now. So they might just be looking at it from that perspective. Well played to, well played to Ray. Good game, man. That was a really good game. I'm happy that you died. No offense. <laughs> But I'm happy that you died in the way you did, you know? As, as much as I, I like good community games, I I wouldn't consider it one if one person kills everyone and then just gets Relic Victory on their own, necessarily. I mean, it's a pretty incredible feat. If anything, I would have liked to have seen it be a little closer for you there. That, that was not as much of a nail-biter as maybe I thought. Gray next. Yellow says, hmm, we should. Green says it's right here. And now... Teal says, we're the noobs, Green. They'll just take us out without blinking if we don't do something. Okay, so what sucks for Jillert is that you're trying to get into someone else's relationship at the moment. Like, Yellow and Green are definitely buddy-buddy. And no one's responding to Gray. So Gray's like, uh... <laughs> this could be an issue for me. And I believe we just had the turn... And it was Mr. Eugene H. Krabs! Mr. Krabs makes the turn. Wow, Mr. Krabs, I wasn't expecting that from you. So we have Eugene H. Krabs, who also had to reboom, going up against Gray. And Gray's like, no, Green, don't do this. Do not do this. Teal says, please, no, not like this. Wow, Green also had Trebs here. Now, Gray... Wait! Gray is running over to Teal, but Teal believes that Gray is about to attack him or her because... What? Well, this is interesting. And Teal says, please, no, not like this. Save me until the end. Gray needs to say, hey, fight with me right now, Teal. That's what Gray needs to say. Something like that, because then this will be a 2v2. But I, I feel bad for Gray because he's made so many stables in this game. He's going to probably need to make more. Teal's got a lot of this army still stuck here next to the relics. Great job from Green with these Magyar Hussar. Also has plenty of gold banks. And just is not spending any gold on the Magyar Hussar after the unique tech. So Green has not really faltered in his attempts to kill Grey. It's working out nicely. Hmm... Remember, Green was almost killed by General Genitals. And then it didn't look like Green was going to do much. And now Gray says Teal help. 
And I think Teal will be happy to hear this, because Teal is terrified right now. And Teal's gonna be like, oh, you need me to help you? That's great. And Teal says, where? It is right next to you, Teal. But Teal's obviously very stressed. And see what see what I mean? Teal was walling that in because Teal saw Gray's calf. So Teal's gonna realize the situation. And Teal is gonna help. And we have ourselves a 2v2. Didn't look like a 2v2 till now because Yellow had a lot of military that needed to get over here. But I feel like... So now what's going to happen is Teal is going to potentially lose trade to Green, right? And Green didn't really run this by Teal at all when Ray was attacked. So I think the trade will go down eventually for... Well, there's no trade for Gray, and then there will be very little trade long-term for Teal. And Green was defeated! What? By who? What happened? Guys, did he send it forward by mistake? Gray was defeated! Oh my god, wasn't he in here? Or in here? Oh my god! Teal did it! Teal ejected the king and shot it! So I'm not sure about green, but right after that happened, Gray gets killed off by Teal, and now we have a 1v1 between Yellow and Teal, and I never expected that. The yellow says, oh, damn. What is this? Yeah, they did not expect to be in this position. Lol, I must have lost track of my king, says green. Yes, I think what happened with green is I think he had his king inside one of his castles. And I think he set his gather point forward because he's producing out of his castles. And the king died out there. Teal says I'm happy with second place. No, you should go for first place, buddy. Don't, none of that second place nonsense. Go for first place here. You could do it. You now have trade, right? That You're always going to have trade. You've got Paladin. You're doing a really good job right now. For yellow, I've noticed gather points on these stables from earlier are still set over here. Uh, which is very sad because that has to be corrected. And it's going to take yellow a bit to address some of this. Teal said, I'm happy with second place, and Yellow said, I am 2XD. So we've got two players who would be happy to be second place, so they're going to have some fun. And Yellow's got trade too, right? So Yellow could always make camels, camel archers with Berbers. I actually think I would prefer the Berber civilization, but I prefer Teal's spot because Teal has full paladin queue. So they're going to fight it out, go for the victory here. Both with pretty well fortified bases too. And they both have castles. Grace is well played, right? Yeah, Ray played really well. And Teal says, thank you for saving me earlier, by the way. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I, I forgot that Yellow saved Teal earlier. So they're being nice to each other as they slaughter each other. That's always good. God, it'd be so cool to see someone get the relics right now, though. I think they've kind of forgotten about it. But Yellow did have a monk over here at one point. He had a monastery there. I don't know about that. I want Yellow to win because the color reminds me of chips. Wow. Well, um... Very interesting little process you have there to determine who you want to win. Gray says, Can't believe Teal killed me like that. <laughs> I Is anyone else shocked by that too? I'm actually shocked that Teal was that quick to making that decision. The second green was out of the game, just boom. And actually, people might think that green did it because green was attacking. So it's like green isn't even alive to say it wasn't me. Green says, sorry, Gray, I thought you were an easy snipe, which if anything is just going to offend him more. Sorry, I just thought you sucked. I don't think he meant that to be rude, but that's what that sounds like to me. Sorry, just thought you were easy to kill. That's all. Yeah, these paladins, though. I've been I've been looking at that queue again. So, the thing... Here's the deal. So, guys, pikemen are just not a good unit in the Imperial Age. It's just not. We could talk about blacksmith upgrades. We could talk about all that. But pikes are a 55 HP unit with 4 base attack. 
They live off bonus damage, and it's still not great. Pikes are just not great. So if you've got golds here in your Berbers, or any Civ that can make camels against Paladins, you want to make camels. Camel Cavalier would do really good, because then you've got Cavalier, which is a bit better offensively. That said, I mean, he does have a lot of pikemen. So, I mean, he's not spending any of his gold. And there you go. Now you've got Camel coming in, so. Who knows? Anything going on here with the relics? No, doesn't seem like it. Teal's paladins were cle cleared up most of that. Maybe Teal could do it. Is there a monastery for Teal? Two of them. But nothing happening out of them. Uh, Harold the Zuck says, uh, what does a camel sound like? Uh, I'm not sure. I've never heard one before. Never heard a camel. Well, I talked smack about pikemen, guys, and the pikes are actually doing it. And so, as he mixes in the camels, now I'm liking Yellow's position more and more. And the problem for Teal is, is kind of why I like Teal's position a moment ago, he was only making paladins. They're not making any other units. They're just tossing them in, tossing them in, tossing them in. In fact, I haven't seen any units apart from knights in this game from Teal. You could go for your own halbs, right? You can go for pointy boys. Against pikes, you could maybe consider mixing in some skirms. I personally like making halbs here because then that also takes care of the camels. But while halb doesn't counter pikemen, it's just better than pikemen, so you've got... You're better off in both both instances. Now this is, this is now a 1v1, and these players made it here due to a variety of different circumstances. But I can tell you right now... That Teal, I think, is struggling a teensy bit more to keep up with things. Supplies! Supplies is on the way. We're going to have more barracks. Yeah, good tech switch. For the time being, Teal, I think you need to pull back. I think you need to pull back, group your units up, wait for that tech switch. Yellow's got 150 military, FYI. That's also part of it. 150 military on the map. Oh, God. What's up, Stash? Welcome. Friday's been good. We had a good, crazy random cost mod to start off the day. Where we did random cost mod, and then we also did hyper random. So, the amount on each resource was also different, which was crazy. We, this is our first cast, first game of the day. We announced Regicide Rumble today. That's pretty freaking cool. So, it's been a good day. It's been a very good day. Hmm. Well. I think this is going to be a grinder here. Like, th this is going to be a grind. They're going to need to have Siege to back up their pushes. It, it, kind of similar to the first hundred years against Ray. Something's going to have to wake them up. That they're going to need a bit of Siege. But there's a little from Yellow. We now have Longsword. It takes a long time. You have to go from Longsword to Two-Handed Swordsman, then from Two-Handed Swordsman to Champion, and then you're in a better position here. Also, didn't get all the armor upgrades, probably because, you know, hasn't been making infantry this game much at all. But we'll need to revisit the Blacksmith. Hello, T90. Just came here. Is AOE2 really dead? Uh, yeah, it's completely dead. No one plays the game. No one watches the game. It's over. It's a shame, you know, it's a good game. You, you thought there'd be more people around, but nope, it's dead. As you can see. Type a 1 in chat if you think that, uh... That Age of Empires 2 is completely dead. Long swords! Oh, see, this could have been so good. That engagement with the Paladin was costly. That was so costly. But, you know, if Two-Handed Swordsman comes in... And the Paladins get pulled back... Oh, that would be so much better. Teal, I think... Teal's unit control isn't great. However, Teal's unit Q is good, which is always very important in these types of games. So there's positives there. And now, Yellow's going to have the tech switch. So Yellow's going to be like, crap, I can't deal with these swordsmen. All my units are dying. And then Yellow's going to need to go into camel archers. <laughs> AoE 4 is dead, AoE 2 forever. Yeah, I don't think either either are dead. We're fine. I know, like, the last six months have just been... Well, also, it depends how long you've been around the community, right? 
But the last six months have been very... Very confusing, I think. Very worrying in some ways for people in the Age of Empires 2 scene. Uh, myself included. I mean... That does not just apply to you guys as viewers or community members. That's also myself. But you guys don't need to worry about me. Um, I'm going to be doing this. Like, I, I was doing this before Microsoft was around, before the Definitive Edition, before sponsors were around for tourneys, and I will do it uh, as long as I can, regardless of all those factors. So I think we'll be good. I think the future for Age of Empires 2 is super bright. All right. So Champion's about to be in. We, we do not see any additional units being created. In theory, you could make... Like, a Cavalier is better than a Champion, so you could go, instead of Camel Pikeman, you could go Cavalier Pikeman if you really want to make Pikes. Um, but I think you've got to go Camel Archers. I mean, that's just the most exciting thing. You have a Meat Shield of Pikeman or something, and then you have the Camel Archers behind, and you've got the Castles. Also, it's probably one of my favorite units in the game, the Camel Archer. It's just so freaking hard to stop. The champions. Yeah, champions are going to own now. I feel like these guys are going to talk in a couple minutes and be like, man, this is going to go on forever. Because <laughs> they've just been duking it out in the middle with no real change in progress. Now, this would be where rams or trebs or anything of the sort would be really good for teal. So I'd like to see maybe some villagers come forward to make the workshops. He's got the barracks close by. He's losing the stables, though, which kind of hurts. It's allowing yellow to do that. Also, it gets more difficult to push too far into the castles, but we'll see. I have a lot of favorite units, man. I have a lot of favorite units, but... Like, I, I don't think I could pick one, but Camel Archer is up there. Yeah, this is awesome. Now, it's still not fully upgraded either. Still doesn't have the armor. And yellow says, what is good unit versus you? Yellow realizes this is bad. And let's see if Teal responds with an answer here. Because Teal should just say, uh, Pikeman. <laughs> I'll let you know when I know what I'm doing. Lol. <laughs> Alright. Both players don't have a lot of faith in their abilities. They find themselves in the final two of this game. There's been loyalty, there's been backstabs, there's been a bully, there's been relics, there's been wonders. There's been a lot of things here. Oh yes, I am waiting. Okay, so Yellow's like, okay, well when you figure out what you're doing, then tell me please, because I have no clue. So Yellow probably doesn't know the Camel Archer is really a thing. So it doesn't really have range technologies at all. You've got just plus one here. Oh, 11 plus 4. No, never mind. I was looking at armor. My bad. But yeah, could go Camel Archers. Again, Cavalier's pretty good. Cavalier are more costly, generally, but... Okay, and then you can go for your own champions and then make another 100 Pikemen, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> if AoE2 has millions of fans, I am one of them. If AoE2 has tens of fans, I am one of them. If AoE2 has no fans, that means I am no more on the Earth. If world is against AoE2, I am against the world. What a statement, Vincent. Wow, we've got some stars here, actually. Scott's has been a lurker since before Hidden Cup 1. Hours watched, approaching hours played. Hey, thanks, Scott. That's, that's, uh... If you've been watching that long, makes sense. Also, Jero, thanks for more stars. Is okay the moment AoE2 is dead. I am dead myself. <laughs> Guys, calm down. It's just a game, guys, says me. Like, I, if AoE2 was dead, I would I'd think the same. He says, I'm 31 now. My grandfather just turned 92. So if I got the same age as him, then it would be funny with my old bones. Let's go imp. So you're saying you want to play Age of Empires when you're 92 is what you meant by that? I'm telling you. Listen, this is, this is my long-term plan, all right? Obviously, the move to Facebook gaming... Because I wanted to do this for a very long time. Twitch didn't care about me. They fought for me. They wanted me here. But I want to do this forever, right? But my long-term business plan, because eventually, you know, who knows what streaming is going to be. I don't know. It might be VR or some crap. 
and there's no regular streaming options or video options. YouTube might be dead. I don't know. But if I have enough Age of Empires 2 fans, if all that stuff disappears, we'll have a, like an Age of Empires 2 only nursing home, okay? For all the old people. It's a retirement home. And we host LAN parties. We all have arthritis. We can't click things properly. We just do LAN parties. Age of Empires 2. It's all we do, okay? And then you can use the promo code T90Official to get Depends Diapers because it always depends. Because we will, you know, be crapping ourselves at that point. So, when we're old and gray, that's my business plan, all right? That's the strategy. And I hope it works. I hope you guys are prepared. All right, let's see. Um, oh, yes, I'm waiting. I think no one is watching. Probably not. Purple says, I'm watching. Oh, Purple, you are dead. They cannot hear you. They moved to another game, says Yellow. No, we haven't. Yellow probably pulled up the stream and heard me talking about diapers and was like, oh, this must not be the game we're playing. I think Yellow is trying to debate Teal into resigning here. We are still watching. We are not quitters in this community. Hmm. T90 will be in the rec room shouting at everyone to get blacksmith upgrades. Get blacksmith upgrades! I told you 70 years ago! <laughs> Supplies! <laughs> When you throw out your back in the retirement community, you have to yell, MURDER HOLES! <laughs> Be honest, do I have a chance as Teal? You definitely have a chance. You, you both have chances, it's just... I don't know... It's like the, the movable object versus the stoppable force. As they fortify their bases so well, and they, they're not floating tons of gold to really know if they can figure it out. Well, no, I think Teal should still... Okay, with this much gold. Alb Champion Ram would be the play from here. And we'll see. If Yellow does never make Camel Archers, I think Yellow's in trouble. But it's just so... It's so wholesome how little confidence both of them have. They both think that they're just going to lose. And the score could not be more even. It's funny. T90 LA Koreans, right? <laughs> well, you know, this this is a numbers thing here for yellow. But remember I mentioned how halbs are a good unit here? I like it. It's fine. Doesn't cost gold. Siege Ram is your best friend here if you're teal. Siege Ram's your best friend. He doesn't know it yet, but forward siege workshops, siege ram patrolling in is the way to do it. And oh god, now we've got camel archers. Okay, so now yellow's like, let's try camel archers. Is making a lot of camel archers. However, does not have any armor upgrades, so that does make a difference. Maybe he doesn't have thumb ring either, so there are some crucial upgrades. Is that a missionary? That is a missionary in the group here. So that's something. Okay. Ting, 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 ting. They're the camel archers. I'm not sure about ballistics. Does this tell me? Okay, ballistics is in. So I think Camel Archer in mass could really do it here, but with Thumb Ring missing and some of those armor upgrades, and not really having the time to mass them either, this is a problem for Yellow. This would be the perfect moment for Teal to swoop in with Siege. Doesn't seem to have interest in doing that right now. Like, see, the thing about Siege Rams, guys... Well, first off, they take out buildings a whole lot faster than your Hussars will. This is just being stubborn. But Siege Rams soak up attack from whatever units the opponent's making. So let's say you have two even armies, and then one person has five Siege Rams. There's five Siege Rams distract attack from the enemy, which means you win the fight. They either A, win the fight even easier, or you B, take out buildings. And usually it's C. Normally it's both. So that's why Siege Ram is the go-to here. But Siege Ram, I think, is something that a lot of players forget about. It's They'll think more about Trebs, or even Bomber Cans before Siege Ram. I remember I used to underrate Siege Ram so much, I didn't realize how strong it was. But we do have Trebs for Teal. Eventually, coming out of this castle, we'll go right to the middle. That beautiful statue there. But this is giving Yellow time to get upgrades. Oh god, we've got Thumb Ring now. Which means faster firing speed and more accuracy. We now have the armor. 
So don't tell me by the time the Trebs arrive, Yellow's going to have a mass of Camel Archers. What's funny is they're both trading to green. So they could both castle the other's trade route, but they're not thinking about the fact they're trading to green. That would be the way to win, is just stop the trade. But Yellow's thinking, like, what do I, what can I get here? Guys, him getting Thumb Ring, like, at 2 hours and 30 minutes, is not spec cheating. Now, if Yellow were to make a single farm in the southern corner, that would tell us he's listening. I, I screamed Camel Archers, like, 30 minutes before he ever made a Camel Archer. So let's not start to point fingers at this guy who's trying his hardest here to say they're listening to the stream. It's just, it's just remembering some stuff, you know? Halb's getting trickled in. Like, I think Yellow should kill Halb's with Camel Archers. Okay, he didn't do it. See, he's not spec cheating. <laughs> the joke was going to be, oh my god, he's clearly cheating because he just killed Halb's with Camel Archers. Oh my god. Sarcasm, of course. This is the comp, man. This is the comp that I was talking about. I think Yellow has a little more confidence than uh, than Teal does, too. I think confidence goes a long way here. 40 Camel Archers. Are they elite? They are elite. Yeah, 40 Camel Archers is the number. 40 with a meat shield and then some Trebs. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! We've got a lot of trickle here. The problem in these really long games is players will set gather points and they'll forget where their gather points are. You saw the same from Yellow. He had stuff going over here earlier. Oh, man. This is probably one of the longest games these players have ever played, to be honest. A very long game. But also a very good game. And I like the fact that the two people near the end are players who probably never would have said they had a chance to win here. What's nice about common games. Teal took some guts to kill Gray. I feel like Gray was probably a little more capable than both of these two, but Gray, of course, had to run with his king because of Green. Green, of course, sacrificed himself by mistake. I, at least I assume that's what happened. I don't know. That was interesting. I saw a Teal villager running that way. Why did Teal do that? Get over here, maybe? No. But we now have Skirm, so here... We've seen a lot of tech switches, right? So, first off, not having elite Skirm is an issue. Um, that is, like, the first problem with this. But even if you had elite Skirm, if the opponent can make champion and or Hussar, then you're going to end up losing them, so... Treb's coming forward for yellow. And yellow says, nice feudal units. Teal says... Which one? And Yellow says, but they seem to be killing me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Skirms actually got kills, so... More kills than I expected. Feels like I had no clue. What unit's a feudal unit? Yeah. Yeah, maybe, Chris. I mean, he Yellow had gone through everything he could make. He made champions, he made cavalier, he made camels, he made pikes. So he genuinely made everything. Also, we've got a random teal missionary here, as well as some paladins killing some villagers. I mean, I, I'm a little worried for teal at the moment, but he's going to mass hussars now. It's just, where, how does he control the hussars? Does he trickle them? Because if he trickles them, it's a mistake. If he masses like 60 of them, and then comes in, he has a chance. He's going to maybe go for these trebs, which he might take will delay the conclusion to this further. He will take out one of those traps. But also a lot of units are getting killed here. Let's look resources again. It's not good for yellow. It's just that his units are getting a lot of kills without dying. And then for Teal. Teal's got 8k gold. Go Paladin again. Why are we making Hussars with 8k gold? Make Paladin. This game might never end. I love Yellow's uh, togetherness right now with his army. Like, I love how he's got, like, the pikes going directly to where his camel archers are. This is funny, though, 
So you've got these feudal age skirmish picking off some pikes. I stayed as passive as I could the whole game to mass up resources. Now they've run dry. It says Teal. Is that what you call running dry? Has the definition changed? It's been a while since I pulled up a uh, dictionary to see what, what that phrase means. Really? Am I? Is this bugged? 9,000 resources? 9,000 gold and the resources have run dry? I mean, your units are running dry because they are running <laughs> right past Yellow's Camel Archers. <laughs> oh, please don't send any more. Please, please don't send any more past here. I think it's gather point. Oh, no. Oh, he's fixed his gather point now. It's set. Um, it's set here, kind of. Yeah, this is, this is a problem. This is a problem for Teal. Teal is struggling. Oh, but Teal's got Trebs here, and Yellow has no clue. Random trebuchets show up. I actually remember them. I remember him when he sent them there a while ago Okay, now there's one treb for yellow. I almost hope he loses it because that's what we call trickle trebbing. You gotta go in with four man Teal listens to me in that regard Watch yellow lose all of his castles to these trebs without noticing He's got a castle back here, but that is his king and he's got these two I guess I mean Again, Teal's issue has been trickling in the units instead of just wait, being a little more patient, waiting till they mass and sending them out in one group. Right now, he could lose his crucial castle. His trade could be lost if he loses these castles. His king is here, which is to the left of all this. You know, Yellow's units, a lot of them are sitting here, and it looks like Yellow has just noticed he's lost a castle. Meanwhile, no one got the relics. No one, everyone's forgotten about the relics. They're just focused on the 1v1. And I suppose Teal's gonna lose these trebs now to the camel archers. Okay. Teal has 4k gold. We'll see though, because because you're going in it with like three or four paladins at a time. Well, what's been doing yellow favors is the fact that He's got his military together the whole time. But I mean, it's still just as, as much of a struggle for him, but in a different way. His Treb goes down. Yep, Treb goes down. Camel Archers. Camel Archer number's lower. He did take out the Treb. He went to look home to make more Camel Archers. So now the Paladins are massing. And Teal, excuse me, sorry I didn't mean to go to the missionary. Teal's got Paladins now. And Yolo's like, no, I'm losing the fight now. And this game still won't finish. This game still continues. I wonder how different this game would be, or like if we had a similar game next week with Regicide Rumble, if there was cash on the line though. Like, okay, Orange, Danny Dorito, if you watched it, him play earlier. Do you think he would have gone for some kings a bit earlier if there was cash on the line? Probably. Yellow says, green help, please. Green help, please! Green has been dead for like an hour, Yellow. Green is defeated. Oh, I think that's a joke. I think I took him too seriously. Teal says, green had a lot left, and then there's a smiley face from Yellow. Okay, I think that was intentional. I was worried for Yellow there. I believe that is a joke. I'm going to give Yellow the benefit of the doubt and say... That that was a joke. Just because of the smiley face. Okay? Just because of the smiley face. Um, Teal's Paladin army, by the way. Not bad. Still doing some damage over here. And I think Yellow is about to run out of resources, guys. Yellow doesn't have a lot of gold income. Oh! Oh, man! Yellow's like, I didn't see this. But you've got Trebs coming all oh, in the castles. That this is this is Teal's game. Teal dropped a castle in the trade, which we talked about earlier. All the trades dead. Has sent in Trebs to take out this castle, and now is going to clear up the Camel Archers with the Paladins. Has sixty 
Paladins in queue out of four stables. But still does have the Paladins in queue. And yeah, I think that's it. The missionaries being attacked by the villagers. Sometimes, you know, you're just not welcome to preach in a foreign village. Like the Centennial Island or whatever that was, I forget. I forget if it was Sentinel or Centennial. Sorry, missionary. Not sure what you expected. Yellow's to 80 pop. Yellow's now about to be out of wood. I was making a final batch of pikemen before the wood runs out. And then could maybe make hussars or light cav, as that only costs food. Well, the paladins... There's going to be more of them, right? Because there's trade, because there's still food income from Teal. And he's got the unit queue now, and a good job from Teal, man. I feel like... Well, what makes me a little sad for Yellow is the fact that Yellow helped Teal earlier. Both of these players, I think, they respect each other. There's no malice or hate or... You know, they, they understand the situation they're in. They also understand that I don't think either of them believe that they can win this game. But we thought it would come down to trade and, and props to Teal for thinking of that. Also, the fact that Teal took out Gray. And Gray's even rooting for him. Let's go Teal. Like, Teal savagely took out Gray with the castle, which was a really good move. I think this is where Yellow has to, no choice but to resign. I think Yellow's typing right now. I think Yellow's going to be like, well, I can't do anything. I'm 100% dead. Well done. And yeah, Yellow says, I think this is it. I think it is it. Fun game. It's amazing just how much happened in this game. Like from when, from when Red died to, to Gray having to relocate to Purple trying to kill two people, making too many enemies early on. Grace is yellow and green turned on me first, so I guess that's why. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, yellow and green did turn on Gray, so it makes sense that Gray would be more loyal. Uh, not loyal, but just rooting for Teal at this point. Teal, you nice and go. Oh, you nice and good. GG. There's the king. This is a little anticlimactic because the, the paladins can't find the king. There we go. They found it. <laughs> Yellow signals it, and he gifts the kill to Teal, and I think Teal deserves it. Well played. Great job from Teal. Like, well, great job from Yellow and Teal as they're both trying to figure out what units make near the end. That was good. But great job from Teal to switch to champs originally. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. That was a long one, apparently. But more than anything, keeping the production going, despite those instances where... Units were getting trickled in. Keeping the production going, keeping the eco healthy, and then realizing the situation with the trade. I think that was something that both players could have realized. And it was a game where we had four or five players turning on Ray because Ray was just stomping everyone. So I think Ray deserves some special salutes because it was an interesting dynamic where like Ray's dead and they're like, what do we do now? <laughs> And then Green made the move, and it was looking so good for Green. But then it was the classic community game mistake. Again, I, I think we didn't see it. Green ungarrisoned the king and sent it into battle by accident. Uh, unless anyone refutes that, I think that's what happened. The good news is, guys, um, this is one of the last times. I'm going to knock on wood here, hopefully. Um, this is actually true. This is one of the last times that I will be casting community games with the game itself. Because uh, what we have coming with Regicide Rumble 4, we are going to spectate with Capture Age. It's a special version we've been working on for many, many, many months for community games. And then, of course, after the event itself, I can still use that every single Friday. So, with instances where someone sends their king forward, um, there would be a little alert that would say, Hey, so-and-so's king is, is, has been ejected from the castle. It would let me know, and I could click that thing... Regardless of where I'm at, it takes me there. And I can also rewind. <laughs> I can zoom in and out. Like, just everything I do with 1v1. So, that's the good news. Uh, is that there won't be... I won't be blind anymore, I guess. It's really hard to see stuff. Really, really hard to see stuff. Um, 
Oh, look at this. Another game that created friendship. Teal says, I got carried hard. Maybe I play second online game soon. Smiley face. Teal says, I've done like four ranked and lost all but one lol. Better than me, tonguey face. Yellow, maybe team ranked sometime? Yeah, would be nice. Add Steam or something. Oh, Adorable. That's cool. Do they really not have any ranked games? Zero ranked games. Zero ranked games. How is Jillard on a clan, though? And who's the Coley Bears? The Coley Bears. Do I want to know? I don't think I want to know. Anyways, GG. Um, there's the KD if you hadn't seen it already. No surprise that Ray had killed so much in that game. Honestly, I think if Ray would have just traded a little bit with Orange, that things would have been much better. Agree or disagree, chat? I think that's going to be hard to agree from everyone. He didn't even try. He didn't even try. Maybe he did. Maybe he had some trade profit. Nope. Zero trade profit. He had the same amount of trade profit as the guy that he killed super early and the guy who refused to have any allies and just dropped castles. <laughs> I think with that position and the way that Danny was just like, Oh, Ray, I love you. I'll do whatever you want. Ray, Ray, Ray. The way that Orange just wanted to, to be along for the ride, I think some trade should have come out there. And Ray says, uh, I was stubborn. Yes, a little stubborn. But you had more population space for killing people, and for a while, things were going good. You just got to invest into the future a little more. Um, other stats that might be interesting. Well, you've got the Relic Gold. That was a lot of gold. But the Wonder and the Relic Victory was not enough. And Ray eventually resigned, of course, before losing the King. But it was so cool, man. Look at how much. Look at this big spike. Everyone was after Ray. <laughs> Every single player. That was fun. So, GG, everyone. Uh, thank you, everyone, for playing. We're going to do more games today.